All right, so apparently this new Acheron trailer has a ton of references, not just to Ride in May, but to Honkai Impact in general. I've only played through like chapter 13, maybe 14. We'll see if I get any of these references in all likelihood, unless they outright show Acheron like with the horns, like the Hersher of Thunder, it's all gonna go over my head. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Whoa, well that's cool. Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, they wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. Oh, well, speaking of Acheron with horns. To save the world. I get that Izuma reference. splintered 70,033 blades and forged them into the 12 Sentinels. The 12 Sentinels. The first was Truth, forged by the Sovereign of Revelation. Truth. It could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. This is really cool. The second was Sky, forged by the Okay, never mind. I, I was thinking they were going to like lean into like Hersher names gods of and referencing the divine keys. I guess they could still be referencing the divine keys. I don't know the third was Howl, able much to about those. To rend the heavens, and meteors to rain down divine punishment. The fourth was well, that looks pretty familiar. Able to break earth and tear cloud with biting wind and rain. Oh, this is so cool. The fifth was frost, freezing the land in an instant. The sixth was fate, the restless cycle of life and death. Then there was flare, thaw, root. Oh. Vine. Oh my gosh. With those sentinels, we see. There's too, there's too much happening, right? Too much to take in. We'll, we'll, we'll play it back and talk about the music after we uh, we watch the whole thing one time through. Winning victory after victory. Until. All of them were broken. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. And in the end, that entirety was lost. And so Izumo splintered twelve sentinels and forged them into two bearers. The first was Origin. The second was End. I wonder if that's a reference the to uh, Origin and Finality. Blades, and only one could save Izumo. But you and I both know. The road to There's the horns again. Does not exist. There is no trace of tomorrow. This is so cool. The Kamigami, humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything more for the destruction of two worlds. Whoa. In times past, Whoa. Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended, was surely beautiful as Izumo. So, do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? Because of a lie. An end that never existed. <laughs> there is so much to take in here. We long since strode into their shadow. Each step forward one that we can never walk Whoa, the music. Until the last blade is horns again, to dude. So, horns. Not. Oh, damn. Oh, come on. That's sick as hell. They're using the horns a lot, and horns are often used to uh, signify triumph. I My knew this God. world was fleeting. This is so cool. And yet. Also, uh, Allegra Clark, such a damn good voice actor. All right, okay, so, so I'm not, <laughs> I've seen some tweets, and I'm, I'm not a lore creator, so I'm not even going to attempt to dive down that rabbit hole, but let's re-watch and listen Do to the music. Because, granted, you know, the, the, lore, the lore implications here seem very significant. But outside of that, we still have media, we have music. Past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, 
And they are telling one they hell of a story in this trailer. This world and so let me do that. We've got death, disaster. Uh, she's sad. She's crying. It's raining. She's wounded. What kind of music do we get? Sad, moody, wavering violins. They got a little bit of a shiver in here. We would call that a uh, vibrato if you were singing. I don't know if it's the same term for violin in all honesty. And, them into the 12 and so then this, so I, I've made a couple of references uh, to some Hoyo music. And honestly, I feel like Starrail in particular, it reminds me a lot of Halo. Uh, Halo is like my favorite gaming franchise of all time. And the way that they tie in, whenever they go full orchestra, which a lot of times Star Rail goes really digital in addition to orchestral, instances like this when they're fully orchestral, it really reminds me of Halo. And I'm gonna we're gonna call back to that several instances in this trailer specifically. They use a lot of horns. I tried mentioning horns usually signify triumph or extreme drama, but it's almost always related to uh, like battle. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that. At least in my experience, in Halo is a great example of that. These horns to signify triumph and battle, and then they will tie it into moments of like sadness and like uh, you know a real somber mood. But more often than not, it signifies triumph. Seventy thousand and thirty-three. I don't think there's horns here, but all of a sudden, into the twelve sentinels. The whole song lifts, right? Went from being sad and moody the was truth, to lifting. By the sovereign of dun 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 dun. It could dun, teach dun, dun, dun. the way of the law. So you've got the strings, the horns. There's the horns. She's telling the story about the blades, how they the were forged, the sky, forged, why they were forged, the what their means. story is. And actually, I just realized, are we going to get a musical transition for every one of these blades? It's like this, this one right here. I, I could not even begin to tell you the names of these blades. This is my first time watching it. Uh, but, you know, for this one right here, all of a sudden, boom, you got horns. Triumph as it slays this, you know, seemingly giant bad guy monster, right? The first was truth, forged truth. by the sovereign of revelation. Impales that it monster. The, way of the, law the horn starts swelling in, right? The deconstruction of all it's beautiful. It's triumphant. The second was sky, forged by the Breaks eternal down. zenith. We've it got piano moving. From the firmament and, prevent the innumerable gods of and all of a sudden, did you hear the horn start swelling in as soon as it started to show this frame right here? Like a, a ceiling? What, what's she talking about? Like ceiling, is ceiling the gods? Is that what she said? Zenith. It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent the innumerable gods of misery from passing through. There's the horns again. The third was Howl, able to summon lightning to rend the heavens and meteors to and we... bring down divine punishment. The fourth was we... Mist, able to break earth and tear Even just trying to listen to the music, it, it's rain. overwhelming. There's an overwhelming amount of information here. The fifth was Frost, Visually, sonically, land, mentally. And an instant. The sixth was fate, the restless cycle of life and death. So as soon as she mentions, you know, uh, this one is fate, right? The endless cycle of life. And we have the same music that was kind of building through the last couple of blades. And then almost as soon as she says death, the frame flips and it shows death. The music changes. Again, we're going sad, somber. It lows down. We've got a little gentle piano. Also, those deer look really cool. Reminds me of uh, Ori and the Blind Forest deer. This is really sick. It, basically, every frame in this trailer is sick as hell. <laughs> Bravo to the artist who put this together. Fate, the restless cycle of life and death. Then there was flare. Is that a little piano? And as soon as they switch, oh, this is this is exciting to hear the way that they do this. And it, it, I know it really reminds me of Halo. I hope I'm not like upsetting the people who like take it way too seriously when you compare one game to another. This is a good comparison. This is a, a good one for me because Halo music is something I'm super familiar with and like really introduced me to like trying to study and break down video game music. So the constant use of horns here again, you know, they're talking about life. The music is the same death. All of a sudden it goes somber. Then they transition to another, looks like a battlefield and another blade. Boom. Horns are right back at it. It's just. So then there was flare. Thought. Right. Root. It, it, it's just such a great storytelling tool. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectation. Triumph. You know, they're all and united. Victory. They're fighting. They're serving their purpose. All of them were broken. And now we're back to so sad and somber. Was a world in its entirety. The sad strings, the low, that, that's the a end, cello, right? That entirety was lost. And so Izumo splintered 12 sentinels. 
and forged them into two bearers. The first was Origin. And it's neat that they go the back to the piano was end. as it's raining. And Acheron's like the having a moment of realization there. Just like at the start of the trailer. And only one could save Izumo. Build it up. Tensions but rising. Horns are back as the soon as she starts kicking ass. Does not exist. A very brief build. The horns are there. There's drama. Triumph again. I, I feel like I'm overusing the word triumph, but I feel like that's the best way to describe the frequent use of horns in the storytelling of this trailer. This trailer's so badass, bro. Look at this shot. Big, booming, bustling strings and horns. Surely as beautiful as Izumo. So. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? And again, of a lie. Acheron's in the rain. An end that it's never somber. Existed. There's piano. They, that's the third time they've we transitioned back to that. And it, it creates uh, Each step forward, a familiarity. Horns are back. Strings are back. The, the new blade, blade, blade shows up. It, it's, it's just really, really smart. And I say it all the time. They just do a fantastic job telling the story through music you know you got thematic elements this is only a four minute video and yet we have repeatedly gone back to the theme of horns for triumph and then the piano for like somber sadness with the rain i mean we literally three different times we've got acheron in the rain in a somber moment with that gentle soft sad piano playing and then every time something ramps up you get those big beautiful bustling horns coming back in and it just like it sets the tone for each transition and after you go through them once or twice it's like it, it gets instilled in you and as soon as you hear that music coming you know what's about to happen on the visual end and the narrative end and it's just super cool not I just think this is so sick that is so sick at the visuals again man Give a raise to every single person on the art team who put this together. And yet. And yet. Back to the piano. I mean, obviously, you know, that she wasn't getting rained on there, but like, back to that sad, somber piano. It's fleeting. And yet. And we got to give credit, of course, to again to Allegra Clark because like her delivery of the lines right there at the end, in particular, with the piano to like kind of finish it, and it, it really just gives like the sting of sadness and regret, and that's just that's just brilliant. So that's the Acheron Myriad Celestia trailer. Man, they're going so hard with all of the marketing for Acheron. It's incredible, and that was a very very special trailer. I mean, the visuals, the storytelling. The lore overload. I'm going to have to go watch somebody else's video about the lore because most of that went right over my head. Obviously for me, you know, the music is what was really speaking to me. And they always do a great job tying in the music with the narrative. But this one in particular, they really hit it out of the park. Just that was a great experience. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did. If you did, sharing with your friends is a great way to help. Leave a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter. Join us on Discord. Links to all that good stuff's in the description below. You know where to find it. Catch you on the next video. Love the games. Love yourself. And I love you. Bye.